My faith has always been very central to my life. It's something that I grew up with and I had a really strong belief even from an early age. And it's something that has carried me through many years and many difficult situations in life. It's been something I've challenged and have walked away from and have come back to and it would still be a bedrock of my life at more times more vibrant than others maybe, but it's still something that would be my foundation. I've been on an interesting journey in relation to LGBT issues within the church and within my faith. I've been very challenged by having a lot of gay friends who have felt that they needed to choose between being gay or being Christian and that's been absolutely heartbreaking. So I suppose it's something that it has directly impacted on me, which has meant that I have deliberately gone and started studying and started reading and looking at are there alternative ways to look at Bible passages? Is it as black and white as we have been taught? And is there another way to see it? Given that I believe that God is love, I don't believe that he puts that burden on people. And it's been a challenge going back to the Bible to try and understand that. I would say going through that process is very unsettling. It's always difficult to let go of something which you believed was true and that made your life make sense. Because um, obviously it's how you see the world. And to begin to say, well, actually, maybe God isn't like that. Maybe the Bible doesn't say that can be, it can really shake you. Um, but I think if the greater goal is that you want to understand and you want to be there for people who are hurting and maybe hurting unnecessarily, then it's something that that is, you would voluntarily go through. Yes, yes, I would say that I did feel that maybe sometimes I've gone too far. And I know that some other people would think I have gone too far and would question whether I'm a Christian anymore because of what I believe now. Um, and I suppose you just have to hold that God is bigger than we are and knows is love. I think it's hard if you believe that your theology is actually core to your faith. If your faith in God is almost a standalone thing that doesn't necessarily have to have all of the rules and the regulations and the Bible verses of your childhood backing it up, then I think your faith can survive it. I think your faith will look very different on the other side of it and may not be acceptable to other people, but I still think if your heart before God is that you want to seek after truth and you're, you're doing it out of love for other people or love for yourself, then you can't go wrong. Did I feel a sense of loss? I think I felt uncertain because I was uncertain. And I think I felt a distance from what I had grown up with, which had been my security. So I think I actually needed to learn to put my security in God in a different way than I had previously. I wouldn't say I felt at a loss, I would say I actually feel that it's been a real gain because it has broadened out my concept of who God is and what love is and who our neighbour is. So I think I have gained as a person from not being as narrow-minded as I would have been previously. Um, I mean, I think one of the real challenging things when my dad came out and we talked about it, he was terrified that he would lose us because we would choose biblical doctrine over his experience. And I remember him saying to me, he said, I'll take my chances with my maker. And at the time I was a bit like, that's a bit of a scary thing to do. What if your maker says, no, you're wrong. But I just think, you know, he had the confidence to know that before God, he could stand before God and say, this is who I am and you love me. And now I find that a really, really challenging thing. At the time I didn't understand it, um, but now I really respect his position. I suppose my hope for LGBT inclusion of faith communities would be that there is an uncategorical welcome. I feel like in a lot of our churches, there is a welcome up to a point, and there's a lot of speaking about welcome and speaking about love, but there's always a but. And I think that's what I find most difficult, that you get to a point where you're welcome, but you can't be in a relationship, but you can't be in leadership, but, but, but. And I, I would love to see inclusion come to actually mean that people are included completely and totally, and love totally without there being parameters or strictures or rules put on people. So I suppose for this project, I would love it to create a space where people could have those conversations, where people could explore things that maybe they would have been fearful of previously, and they could consider moving 
you know, moving from where they were to a different place that might be actually much more fruitful for them as well as more helpful for people who are LGBT. I think I would tell my younger self not to be so scared about things um, and not to be so harsh on myself and maybe be more hopeful that things will be okay. <laughs>